Welcome back from the break. I'm a counsel. If we are ready to continue, uh, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Osher, can you please help us bring in the witness? Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Just before the break, you told us about your arrests and detention at the NIA. You gave us a list of 12 individuals you were detained with. You told us that in the early hours of the morning, around 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. On the 26th of May 2006, you were taken out of the cell and brought um, at the conference hall before Mr. Malam in Cise of the major crime. ไม่ยาลงกาเตลมารลิงกูเจ้าเคราลลาบารอลเมนกาโคตอมตุเบญโยกันวอเตอร์เคตาเนมบอร์โรเคตาไฮดาร์ดีเดปุตีดีจีเ
Kato ila kumofa mwenye ntiko, ntenga emailo le kipa nderimbaye iteli nata emailo mensoto. I challenge them even further. Hani mbinata fwe nkatente nko. That if they had intercepted an email from me to pandirimbaye. Natura, e email soto le membo tante la karola nga menki pandirimbaye. Then they must have hacked into my account or into pandirimbaye's account. Goto iteludun tante la konto le kono na web page wala idunta pandirimbaye la konto le kono. Email account, I mean. La email konto. And that in itself was illegal. And we found the man, the man, Lua Balantalale. But I was told that I was not in a position to crack scam them. But you know, for young co, it even tembo mento jang, it a co kunding, it a co kunding, meaning carno la cafo cabalan. And that they were not obliged to give me answers. And do it a manjana jabber deal and teller. But I insisted. But honey bim bam lot and balanta. And there and then, Motembo lemu. I believe it was Malamin Sisi who mentioned to me that, I mean, they didn't know more or less anything about competing, so they don't even know what hacking was. But when Malamin Sisi was a mirror, it was a kind of thing. It was a long computer, Karola, and it was a long computer, and it was a hacking to the account. Then I asked again, if you didn't know what I mean, hacking was, how could you have intercepted an email? Then bring your experts from Gamdel or anywhere to testify, I mean, to, they will collaborate what I'm saying. Nko e watu tonya tonya na dar atilman fellong walem kadum wandi konto kono ikafume hacking watu alilona lubundi na gamtel meni alonko isikumo sisi ni ante bema mfuka na lijam. Na adat jangcho mfali jabang stood up. Watembo le mfali jabang wulita. This is O2 jabang. The military intelligence. Ikafai O2 jabang member sojaro la kibar karo la ila kulo kibar karo la military intelligence. He was the one who mentioned to me that I mean I was not in the position to question them and that they were not obliged to give me answers. Wole moti men konyango ite manya na intelligence ni kala kula adun hanyo kefana ite manya na jabir dilantela. He walked up to where I sat down. Ana tena ngakatama na ngakafuta mambesiri ndamen. And he slapped me. I, 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 I don't know, Busa. So that angered me a lot. We didn't come far back. Then, um, impulsively, I just shot up from my care. Oh, but when Kula minti me along katere makule mbira yoke drum fanan kiri taka ulina sirangkang. And swore to him that if he repeated that, I was going to pay back. Ngangkali ya kona yo fulan jamben jolale. Then, again, I think Malamin Sisi asked him to stand down. Utumole malamini sisi kae ai ai atu. You mentioned to us that they were asking you questions. Yeye imfanya jango itarata nuki ni ninga nuni ninga role lella. Who was leading the interrogation? Ni ninga role ni njia role ni video ni beota kanga watu mene. Jumali ba kuwa ni nyato kaya kanga. Initially, I mean the questioning was coming from malamini for the maybe the first part, but eventually everybody. Almost anybody else in the parliament, I mean, in the panel, was asking. Ko follow follow dulato malamin le ni ninga ro da muta, but biru mo bata la ko meta tu mo meno dumanding mo omanding beje ibe ni ninga ibe kadun ne drong kani ninga ro ke. Who appeared to be leading the panel at that point? Yeah, to hetelo korozro. Jumal tarta nungu ni nyarong kaya kani ninga ro ni njaga ro bekeri waro mena. The panel seemed to be led by um, Hydra, the one I mentioned, the deputy director of NIA. Amunta mengu deputy director ti Hydra konto njing abeko wale beko lunyato kaya kanga utumo. But he he was more or less sort of passive in terms of questioning. Bari ateketa mole ti me ya longo abe tenkun dini drong amamfemfu abe daring. When Mfali Jabang slapped you. Bring Mfali Jabang ayetulo busa. Did any of them rebuke him for slapping you? Fu mosa ndani la bangu mea longo a wuli tava a balanta a kuni na bangu abai ala a yetulo bumena. I wouldn't call it a rebuke. Nta fola ko doya rolemu. But then he was asked to stand down by Malamin Sisi. But he came in ayatu Malamin Sisi le yofai. And he did comply. And dunga sonda wala le. And at that juncture, um, I I wept because not necessarily from pain but from anger. Kutembo unkumbo tala kato amanke ko. So it was at that moment that what emboleme had a voice from behind me. Um, if I may just describe the way the decks the decks was positioned. 
Ninsa fono yo tabulo londi nu nyameng when you walk into the conference room ni tamata idunta nan conference room ko no la bendula to you just face the tax head long head on ke kenya tilin tilin na wo tabulo le la inya tilin wala so you be interrogated like a person like me ni ibete nyinin ka kan ko atebe damen to nu wo tembo half his back to the door e ko betilin na bunda le la idunta nan damen na and the place was not it was sort of not as bright as usual and in terms of lighting and wo tembo lampol bi je nyame dula mantara ler le amantara kenayari mbake je abe di bi mulu le kono besides the surrounding of the desk dum tabulo nyin na muruo nyin dala everywhere else was sort of semi dark wol be ko malo be be dibirinne so it was at that point that i had a voice behind me wo tembo le ngamu ko ma kam mo yin ko ma the voice said to me that ni mari men dia muta nyin fo nyen ko by the way those who i mean those who know me usually call me lb this is how i'm mostly known that's my initial many people call me lb men nu yelong jama be ko no ka fo nyen lb mo jama yelong wala la so this voice said to me lb ni mari dia muta nyen nyin lb it's better you speak the truth ko nya mem fi siata mem be jan ron wolam yetto nya fo because if you don't ni wonte we will kill you mbe falale couldn't mistake the voice ni ko makan won te fili no la la this was somebody ni mo moleti have known na me long is i was a kid dimbe dindi yala we are in the same club mbe be ka fo kilimo le kono same class class kilimo kono same village sate kilimo to interacted endlessly over years adun sanji jama kono na ko lu ka futa nyoma ka dun nyo kono to confirm the voice adum pour ka ko kan to nya yandi jumalem immediately i turned no to le mtriminta ka ko ma djube again i couldn't mistake his bulky bulky figure andum mamfili amari danya makatu mo mo warari ngolem because he's always been hefty since childhood katu amari kabrina dindim ma aketa mo balabaleti this was malik jata you know malik jata ti military officer me alon ko soja role mo ati commonly called jiki nka faye ne jiki to jare to jare saate o kono and later i came to know that he was one of the junglers adun ko ko la nata nyim fanan lon ko ate be o jongla so le kono how did you know that he was a jungler ti alo nyaadi le ko malik jada jongula le i came to know it later during precisely during my detention nata lon wato me wolem namuto wu ci o kono lo nata bo be kalama because katu am um, when we were detained katu birim be o muto kono there has always been talk that um junglers were the ones responsible for torturing people e ka nyina fodula be to je ko jongla sol le moluti men ka molu tajire ya ka molu bute i've never men i've never witnessed him being torturing anybody nena ma jade nyaala ate be molu bute kan damen but based on corroborative um sort of statements that's been made by by my co-detainees and others bari nka kuma kan mo mo nka fu nyolu la ni menu be muto kono ani mo ko tengalu i came to believe with the conclusion that he was nata la nyina ko to nya to nya nyil be ka kuma mem fo mo be denta kuma kilimo la wodo to nya lo and because i didn't have any evidence to refute that he was in the jungle adun dalila ya tembulu men sa ken de ko to nya ni manke jungle ati and that other people mentioned to be junglers whom i have known personally i have witness i have seen them adum mo ko tangu men to fota kol mu jengula soleti nga men nu je sa ko nge long like modu jaju rambo men nu be ko modu jaju ka fo me rambo sana manjang sana manjang i know them personally no lu fanglu lon ne ni nyolo ne nge adama di malu long from brikama kabo brikama so and um, modu jaju was one person modu jaju lu mu moleti who came men nata to the ni reception when we are in light detention kana ina ila ila mo bentundula to biringo tumo mutaro yom fatan kun na domanding pick up journalist lamin cham who was who was who testified here a journalist so bonding kono je ka fo me lamin cham men ne nata sede ya rola jang we'll get to that point later sia dombe furala woro nyaato sini you recognized uh, malik jata's voice ye yeah, malik jata kan ngi ya sude You also turned around to confirm that he is indeed Malik Jata. Yeto inarne ko ma feledro inarna to nyendi ko to nyalem atelam Malik Jata lem. 
And you also told us that he told you that it's better for you to tell the truth or you will be killed. Can you tell us what happened afterwards? I responded to him that he knew me from childhood. And he knows that I'm not a liar. That notwithstanding, I would not admit to what I have not committed. Then, it was at that point that I was held by either arm. Took me downstairs. Um, behind the conference hall, the story building in the, the main story building at the time was the ozone. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was a fence, a cement, I mean, a wall between the between the, I mean, the perimeter of the NI headquarters and the and the beach. Utumo san sangole be NI ela korda ning bada fangotema. So behind this, there were some trees and some ring brick walls. And so I was asked to get into that ring, in yeah. one of the rings. Again, the place was more or less dark. Because there was no proper lighting. As I stepped into the ring and before mm -hmm. I, mean, I try, before I could come into towns with my environment, out of sheer luck, I saw somebody just attempted to pounce on me. Then instinctively, Again, with further luck, I let myself fell on the ground in order to avoid the impact of the attempted kick. And that was the point that they started beating me up. I felt being beaten by, with sticks. This was by not less than half a dozen people. I couldn't do much only to cover my face. As much as I could. Though I was lying down on one side of my face. Because I didn't want to lie down on my nose in order not to suffocate myself. And the beating continued. To be honest, it reached a stage. I said, to be honest, it reached a stage. I couldn't feel any pain anymore. Um, I didn't even realize whether I was shouting anymore or not. But I knew I was conscious. And somebody ordered for them to stop. I was covered in dust and, 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 and all that. Then I was dragged upstairs again. You mentioned that sticks were used to beat you. Apart from sticks, what else? Did they use anything else to beat you? I could felt them kicking me and stamping on me. I could feel them kicking me and I knew they were using stick because they started cutting on branches from the trees. Okay. And as they hit me, I realized that yes, this is stick because it's different from, you know, anything else that is plastic or whatever. I can't, I can't 
I can't say for certain that they didn't use anything else or they use something else. Ndenyi njenu lafananko de ye fendo tale kalipala bari na mira role nyinti. How long did that beating last? Ubute ronyi mbate ulipa ronyi ngaye wati jelelta. It's a million there quacks can. Wale mnyini nkari kola mfangoti naka? To be honest I can't tell. Tuanya tuanya ntafono la wewe wati jelelta. I can't tell but I know um if it had prolonged, maybe I could have died. Ako ngalong ko ning liparotam bitanung motola asikeno ngafa. I can only assume that it didn't take that long. Nsinyo muto ngoko iman tambi wala watembe dato. That long is open up to interpretation. Bari na tambi tanung wala a ude wobeke la kukole multi. Did you recognize anyone from among the people that were beating you? All men that are here, busan, here, lipanu. For most of the days, I remain sober. I recognize that Malik was part of the group who dragged me down. He was part of the group. Na koro si ko Malik jata be molu kono le meni yemkurun tu kandi aku ya jindi duma. Later came to know that Sanamanjang and Rambo were there as well. Na tani lom fanang ko Sanamanjang ni Rambo ibe da bijele nungo tumo. I Rambo am in modu jaju. Rambo wole modu jaju ti. But exactly who hit me, no, I couldn't tell. But it was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. It was all of them or some of them, I couldn't tell. If I can remember well, the last time I saw Malik in person was immediately after my detention in 2006. We met at the, I mean, on during Quarity Day at the prayer ground. I can remember seeing him since then. Kabo luna kanabula sain ng hakilo mamuta dal ko ngaje dulato. You also mentioned that he's a jungler. Yeah, for fun, jungula le mati. Yes, I did. Ah, no, for le. Um, a Malik Jata, who is also a jungler, testified before the commission on the 23rd of July 2019. Malik Jata, me alonko jungula le mafana dia muda ni nko misongo ni ati lomole July karo ti lomwang aning sabat 2019 sang zero. Is that the Malik Jata you're referring to? Maybe we Malik Jata le laba. Yes, it's the same Malik Jata because I listened to his testimony. We Malik Jata kilung le fang karunga la usediaro la mo ile. During his testimony. La usediaro ni wicho ni kono. Malik Jata testified that he did actually see you at the NIA. Malik Jata ya fujangko atafang kundingo yeje NIA le. He also mentioned that he had a personal grievance with you. Ako atafang kundi ngo ni ako kus ay kusra sa nuna ko na may alam ka niya wala sa tonyo kuba ina tayo malay. But he told the commission that he did not touch you. Pero ay niyong fuko misong ako ay bulo mamila. Yeah, if he says so, it could be right because to be honest, um, I've mentioned in my statement that I can't say for certain that Malik hit me. Ako na yung see him hitting me, and as I said, I cannot tell who and who and who exactly hit me. But I knew he was part of the group that dragged me down. Kuna afanya mwenye phone la foto ni ato ni afanyo bulu e fenta le kalipa. Bari denga ni mfuko nga jejele, umuto ni alde nga jele. Bari bidun kafu a fenta le kalipa nte o phone la kato menu beli pa kano ngoromo malun juma ni juma lem. Can you tell us if you sustained any injuries as a result of the beating method on you? Yes, I did. 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 Adun hanim bi wom wom market dah lu beng kungo bala. What happened after they beat you up at the beach? Muna muna nara nake beri ye samba bada la mafang la ye bute. I was taken upstairs back to the interrogation room. That is the conference room. 
ye murundi kote ke ilawo nyini kar bungoto me yalonko bunjango santolem and i was told that um what happened to me was just the tip of the iceberg adu ye nyino fo nyanko menkete la wo muduma ndingole tifang and i should expect more adu nsijiki ko men siata wote bokelale and that i should comply with them wato nsi song ito lako kumola but then I told them that there is nothing more to comply with except telling the truth, which I did, and and that was it. Now you inform me, who got the ticket to be my phone all day? Tonya, I'm going to the phone all day. Or Tonya, I'm going to the phone all day. From that statement. Kapo, we know Kuma Kamu na yeme mfuwe. From the statement they made to you. O Kuma Kamu na yeme mfuwe ite. What did you think the purpose of the beating was? Ite, I'm ite la mira loro. O buti roni yeme kila agdali lo muneri. They were trying to force me to accept that I was given information to Freedom Newspaper. If any of the Katakanundurong can force a Purunta Safokaha, Ndeka Kibaro di Freedom Kibar Kaitolale. Based on my own analysis, and I mean, from that point up to the time that I was delayed, it was like they were trying to look for a scapegoat. Amunta Kabo Temboto, Fokatabula Kul Natala Nyami Nyatondo. It will be more in Kandurong Ibemendundila Kafoko Nyelem Multimania Nyinke. Because they knew that they messed up big time. And they were they were not the least professional in the way they handled the whole matter. Adu iteli yoko tamani nyaming. Ani londa lula silo men keta duko no learning alone alte ani osilo manda. And that they were just trying to impress the president. Andu iteli yoko men keka ngo nyame ubunya me ma ubunya. Walem drum puka kwa presidenta wenyi abundi itelela barofe kafuko uosamuta kwa itelebe bara kendola. How did you know that it was the president they were trying to impress? Ite wolo nyari lako ibe president wenyi ni bole ibe bole ba kata kana puka wose wondi dronka kajuso la. Because during our stay, katun nataro uche ukonoje. Um. I don't want to mention this man's name because I think he's still in service. He was part of the panel. He's in my statement, too. After all those three, four months in detention, if you're not comfortable to state his name, can you kindly write it on a piece of paper for the commission? Kansul kau ni ngaya terai mang amik mau muda baga puri kat tua fok kene baru, atua sape kaitin ni balaroh ya kini. That's fine. Oh betul. Kindly date and sign it as well. Andun ni atua fanan sape je, ya lugu ni sape je, ya koto ya je je ya sign. Go on, please. And then, one Friday, like early evening, akujumalun kilim sotonta hura rama fongola. We are brewing ataya. Mbe siring ataya tabola. Dim. This was long after the investigations. Nimu kumeri neti lau kisi kisi rolu kola. Man came to the NIA premises. Amarina ata NIA la loku dinkira toje. Of course, I assume for a different reason. Ngamira anata dalila dole kanje nu. Then upon seeing us, he came and sat down with us. Baribira yentelije siring anata kafu masita ndala. We took some attire together. Mbeye attire minyo laje. Then he personally told us that. And what fongo yenyi mfonto liyenko. Each time that he saw us there. Watu o watu nata yentulujije. He felt some kind of guilt. Amunta anyi menka kiala wole mnyintu durong. Anioka kuya kato akani muda kwa munda ntelebeti limbali ya kunoje. Because kato, he said the panel had done their investigation. Ako panelo yele kisi kisi rokele, and they found none of none of us wanting of what we are we were being accused of. Alun ntelebeti mbije yentu mikuma kanga lumenola hani kilimanzo toje. 
And the report of the panel was submitted to the NIA director, who was our host at the time. Alu kibaro me yaje yo kibaro from the NIA director la le me yalongo tembole mu njia tiri NIA je. Who happened to be Mr. Harry Sambu? Me yalongo tumo wole ikafu me Harry Sambu. And that it was for Harry to take it up with the big man. Andu Harry le nyanta nyinko sambala banko nyatongo ya. By the big man. Ikafu me the big man tumo. It was the president. Wole mu president. It was how I knew and believed that yes, everything that was happening was under the directives of the president. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe that the information he provided with respect to that man is not so serious. Uh, so it would be okay to mention the name of the man, is it, Mr. Chairman? That is with your permission. And so come in for all in Duco, the Sedo Tome in Tangi, I may have a kite over at the Telegicoto, Sedo Mensat and Yumari La Quoto, a monkey could me along who jowl and Marin Marin in a carola, so Dali Locang, a manja we are Purka, Kioninka, Marininka, Tolan, and a Mobe Amui. I'm seeking guidance from you, Mr. Chairman, as to whether it's okay to mention his name or not. Selang of the Dunyon in a Kiaman Bluning at Sondawala. If you recommend them that uh, the name be mentioned, please proceed. I can see Deputy Chair nodding her head, so I'll just go ahead with it and not mention the name, but tender the signed paper as exhibit later on. So go ahead, please. After your torture by um, some members of the junglers, I believe, because you mentioned... Uh, Sana Manjang being part of them. Modu Jaju. And Rambo, but you're not sure if Malik Jata participated in your torture or not. I have a question about the government. 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 But I have a question about the government. I have a question about the government. I have a question about the You were taken back and asked uh, to speak the truth. I have a question about the government. I have a question about and that is their own version of the truth. And you insisted that you had told them the truth. And you insisted that you had told them the truth. Can you tell us what happened afterwards? Let me take you back a second. I said, Sanamanjang. Sanamanjang. Modu Jaju Rambo, Modu Jaju Rambo, Malik, Malik. They are all part of the group. The baby of Kafu Konolede of junglers. Jungler Solo Nilu. Who were there? Menu Bije Nungolu. Who dragged me downstairs? Menu Yenjindi Duma Forselkang. I'm on the group who hit me. Kafu Molu Menu Yelipa. But I can't say for certain individually who hit me and who didn't. But in that phone, all the Juma Nin Juma Le Yelipa and Nin Menu Malipa. I can't say for certain if everybody in the group hit me. But I know at least some of them did. Just to clarify that. Thank you for that clarification. So when I was taken back um, to the interrogation table, and as you said, for me to tell their version of the truth, I stood my ground. Then after a while they asked me to excuse them and you know go outside of the room. Um, they, they took me to the staircase and asked me to sit down. Then finally Jaban came to me again and told me that the statement I initially wrote at the police headquarters on, on my first day of arrival at Banjul, was misplaced. Misplaced, I mean, they misplaced the statement. But then, they've remembered everything that I've said. And they wrote it down. And they would like just for me to append my signature and date it. 
Insisted on reading the statement for appending my signature. They complied. I read it. Told them, no, no, this is not what I've said. We're not going to sign this. Give me a piece of paper and a pen. And I'll write down my statement again. And Fali told me that you try just to quote him. You are trying to show us that you are stubborn. But we'll deal with you. We'll teach you a lesson. He left. Can you tell us the content of the statement they wanted you to sign? They've got everything that I've said more or less in my initial statement as I mentioned. But there is a confessionary paragraph that I confess that I have subscribed to Freedom newspaper and that I have been in communication with Pandere and that I've been providing him information. And that was false. It wasn't true. The only bit of truth in it was that yes, I, I subscribed to the paper. Which I have indicated in my initial statement. And had confirmed to them during our verbal exchange. In essence, they were trying to incriminate you. There is no other better way to it. When you refuse to sign this uh, confessionary statement, what happened? This was a time um, Musa Jame approached me for the first time, Lieutenant Musa Jame Malia Mungu. I think he was trying to soothe me down. Because he was trying to sort of dust me off. And I was pur... dusty all along. And then said to me that, um, are you from Tujareng? said yes. I said where from? I told him my family. told me, wow, we are in the same Kabilo. Because Musa, at some point, was living with his um, uncle or stepfather, you may call it. He's late now. When he came to Tujareng, he was given land for both for farming and, and residential by my family. When I say my family, I mean, I mean my, my, my clan, my Kabilo. We are used, we are, my clan is the, I mean, the, the alcalde of the village. And this is usually a norm in, in our village, I can say, or in many parts of Combo. So, he, when he said that to me, I told him, well, I know you. So, I know since we were kids, because um, I can remember, I mean, when we were younger, if um, you have a family that has a police officer or a military officer in the family, because, because of the kind of respect we accord to those people, I mean, service personnel, it's well, like everybody is sort of proud that we have a family member who is a police officer or a military officer. And what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that
Did you still have that sense of pride in looking up to him as a military personnel? Jero hani kabi inara na njum juzu bongo sorole kasiwo kavriye fanya abuluje abalaje uniformo baadala. Not for a million musajames. A manke hani million musajam metifang. I will never ever accord that kind of um, respect for a person like that after my ordeal at the end. I am not going to be able to do that. I am not going to be able to do that. I am not going to be able to do that. Because this was the time that I came, I mean, sort of, I woke up to the realities of what was really happening in our country. Utu molem, amunda ni mo be sino la drong, amarina ata kuning, aya aje ko nyiaran ni ningi ne be kering tela banko kang, utembo langa tena ata lo, mem be kering banko kang. So Musa then told me that. Utu molem, Musa e njum fai nko. Then we are brothers to quote him. Oto ntel mu badin killing neti. Then why not comply and tell the truth? Mina na ite son na yeto nyafo. Told him that no. I mean, I've already spoken the truth. There is nothing more for the, there is nothing more for me to say. Mkae hani, ntenga tonya lefo. Adum fenti je koma kota kente be mfola. Told me that then you do you, you do not want to get helped. Ako nyo utu mo leko uto ite malafi mo ye de ma. And he left. Abotaji. So I was not taken back for quick scanning again. Uto imkabe uto imamurundi wolunde kata nyini nka kota ke. I was escorted to my cell. Only with words that they will deal with me. And did they provide you with any medical assistance, given that you had several lacerations on your back and on your head? Oh, in other na de maro di la bang jaralo la karola. Tumala men na iko kono ani bulol be faram faranta kaboni uli parola. Not at that moment. Not ever. During my detention. We were to know to Jay, Imam Femfem Kenya, Imam Makuridina, Adunamuto, which you move Becono, Iman Jaraldina, Imam Makuridina. How about your fellow detainees? Do you know if they also went through the same ordeal you went through? Imunyo Kotango, do you mean that Morocco on Unji? For Yal and Mengla, Gomel Latte, and four for no Tolfano, who killing all Latte Gamba. That night, yes. Ah, Wolun Suto, how Kettle? When I was escorted back to my cell, um, I got inside. So it was like everybody was curious what happened and what was happening. Then, then in order to, I thought the best thing was to prepare them mentally. I mean, my co-detain is to prepare them mentally. Then I told them to brace up. And that they would likely be tortured for so. Because that's what they did to me. I remember Fakeba or Yoro. Fakeba asking, I mean, but we didn't hear you, your shouts. So I told him you couldn't, but even even if 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 I should start, what is what would be what good would it come out of it? So there was no point. For a split second they didn't believe me. And to get that sink sink in, I had to remove my shirt. Then some of them burst into tears. Because of the condition I was in. And each one of us that was detained on that very night. We are tortured. I believe the only person I can remember that was in torture. Was um, this guy, Pamodu Fal. Um, this reminds me, sorry, Council, I'll take you back again. Somebody who was in the panel. For some reason, I oversighted him until at this point. Led to Multamba. Because this was the guy who immediately when Pamodu was taken out of the cells. Because the both of them knew each other personally. 
And we are both ardent Arsenal football club supporters. We are Arsenal football club. So Tumbul ordered for him not to be taken to be to John. Tumbul It was later that I came or all of us came to understand that it, that the reason why Tumbul didn't let Pamodu get tortured was because of that relationship that they had. Besides him, I remember all of us were teachers. How about Hadi Dabo? You mentioned that um, she was not kept with you guys. She Dabo. was kept somewhere else. Hadi Dabo, do you have a young boy? Manning Hadi Dabo, be kept black Lingo, Yatening K. Afayen. Hadi, um, I didn't see her again that night because she was, you know, kept at the conference room. And I don't know if he was tortured or not. The only other time that I had been seeing her was when she, she was eventually released on bail the following morning. Had then, I mean, she would come with others to report on bail. Had but we've not been interacting that much when they were on, when they come to report on bail. But it had been a long time ago, and 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 it had been a long time ago. Yo, bari wosso mo drone mo yate bel. Bitu wokola anim mo lukana kane danku wairi ni bel. Ika watu lefo e kane danku watu men. Akatani nale kana e danku je nkaje o tumole la bari bitu alakuo kafu wolu mena taka la nte fen phone ora wodo. Because the the four of us who were in long term detention, that's myself, Malik Mbub, Duta Kamaso, and one military officer, Bubas Buba Jame. Malik We are not interacting with the others who were released on bail. Because it was like separating common criminals from death row inmates. Amonta ya criminal so I don't know what eventually befell Hadi Dabo that night. And in this sense, you said separating common criminals from dead row inmates. Which category did they put you in? Yeah, for young boy, go him. Yeah, yeah, for a couple of people, they were meeting more me along with the barrel of them. I'm more me along with the Moroccan. We're in a new fall. They were dead row. It 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 that we were part of the We were part of the dead row. Namunta itel mbe moleti ye menu mutako wolbe fatal lekono. So you saw yourself as a death row inmate at the time you were there at Malto at and the NIA premises. Namunta zani ite fanya kwe ite mora mole kono meni yarongo ibe yani ni fala le NIA sanson kono ji. Not not in the literal sense of the freeze. Amang koko puru kafu ko ibe mfala le kunga fanya ming. What I was trying to say is that it's like, I mean, we were all accused of the same thing, but it seemed like our crime was much more severe than, than the others. It's like we were found guilty already. We were because to manifest that, some of the NIA operatives that we have personal relationships with, we knew personally, we are not even sort of allowed to interact with us. Female, let me give an example on that. You may briefly. For example, there was this operative called Yaya Bajinka. This gentleman had been a friend of mine from childhood through school. In fact, on, I mean, the morning, the morning um, um, after our initial night in cells, detention. We took it upon himself to take me out of the cells for me to freshen up and change clothes. 
ate famole nyim makoro dint la kam fintin di selo kono prunsin na dum fengulu faling jore na detention there he's been warned by his boss not to associate with us because our case was from the state house and wo wuche kono ala nyaton ko ya dandala ko a ninte lakolu kana kana kata nyola kadu ye ya maro soto ne membo da state house but he insisted that i've been his um his personal friend bari a lo tanyina kanko nte teri lo minyinti and buba buba jamme the military officer is just like a a, a, a big brother to him adum buba jamme sojaro mem be muto kono je wotum o bele ko drone ka ko to male moti in as much as he couldn't do much for us bari wairi o tembo at ku keno lantoli he will do his best to help us out bari asi ay menno asi o ke pour kam ma koy to quote him pour ka la kuma kam ta ka banke he told me boy i can be where you people are tomorrow ay nyum fonyen ko boy atelo be tembele amento bi nte fanansi tarano le je sama and just like as if it is a prophecy and dum abeko ko kuma me ya lon ko amari ye sinimo le je men bina kala this exactly what happened and dum wala fango na take i believe around the night of the 22nd of july 2006 and dum 2006 amunta july karo tilbu ani fulo suto when he got arrested with his other bajinka brothers and brought to where we were detained ya muta aning bajinka badin kotangula badin kotangulu ye fanalu nati ndel dum to kono dami after the failed attempt of i mean to arrest their elder brother khalifa bajinka during he left akoto ma muta la ika for me khalifa bajinka hanifo wo kana tema former adc and senior military officer me ya lon ko atelle mo president la adc ti adun sojar nyaton ko le mate num to give an example o mo santi on le tin semendi thank you very much for that number of rosen and road apart from the night of uh, the 26th of may 2016 ning number of mekaro til mo ngani woro 2006 16 16 or 6 2006 sorry my bad 2006 2006 2006 were you tortured again for in arne tajire ala kote ga ba not any of us that were to chord that night wo suto kota ke manna mo tajire yang kono you mentioned several people yo mo jamal le soraja e men tofo jam that were not part of the initial list of the people you were detained with men ya lan ko ku yeni men mo da nyola follow ke wolto wolto o mo dol to tege you mentioned uh, duta kamaso ye duta kamaso tofo was she also arrested in connection with the freedom newspaper saga fo ada fana ya ala muto dalilo suji dam men wala freedom newspaper la quote ba yes ah you also mentioned buba jame ye buba jame fanan tofo do you know the reason for his own detention buba jame fanan ya ala muto dalilo lon ne ba he was arrested and detained with respect to the freedom newspaper saga ya fanan muta nyim freedom kibar kaito dalilo le kamma fact he was a personal protective officer to the president at the time and wo tembo ate fangbe mol le kono menu ka president tan ka kanta apart from uh, the torture of the individuals you were detained with ninga bota tajire ya ni butero menketa ini mo nyol la menu be maroko did you witness any other person being tortured at dni mo ko den soron dalaba yime ma be we ma de men sede ya me alon ko ya liba jeto enaye buba was called out from from our light i mean detention center um i think it is important to mention that after three, four, i mean after about some days i can't remember whether it's after a week or so in being detained in cells be better to pour na hakil bulando ke nyina ko birna tilifula saba nani ke wala men kata da loku ngalam be selol ko no je we were eventually taken out and put under what they call light detention yem fintin di ina tan taran di nyama me ya lonko wolem mutari sono ya ringuti i this we were based at the at the um reception center of the nia o tembo be nia o lamojia dinkira le to reception center and this is where we sleep this is where we sit this is where we when people come to visit us we interact with them nka si jele nka la jele adu nimmo natan ko mbabo ni mari wolu fanale ka si jele how long did you remain at the nia before you were allowed to receive visitors ila taro nia i wati jelel si janni be silo di la pour mul kane ke kumbabo yo am wal 
Immediately after we were released from the cells and put on the light detention, from that first week, we've been having visitors. But to use your own word, aloud, I don't think we were ever been allowed officially to be, to be seen by visitors. Um, it reached a stage during our detention that we built some kind of relationship with the guards, the securities at the gate there. Between Nata Hadamaya Kusoto Nin Kantar Lalu Tema, many along will live a Kantarola Bunda Bato. And I would say that these people allow us visitors based on their um, their own you know, like, like their own personal, you know, decisions. Nim menu do kantaro la bunda bato. Woleka kendi ka song pur moli nan tul kumpa bo bari akake itel fong la dianye quality. Because the first day I was detained, katu lumfolo me yente muta. My elder brother, nkoto ma, du dabo, du dabo, my maternal elder brother for that matter, me alonko muna badin koto leti. Is the IT director of the University of the Gambia currently? Well, I'm director in computer do kola karola University of the Tembe. What the news? I in Kibaro soto tomorrow. He went to the NIA to ask for me. Atata NIA puruka na kuni ninkaje. And he was detained by those very securities. Well, men fango lube bunda laje ya fana mutaje. I mean, for us. I wonder what he jama kije. Demanding as to who told him that I was being detained at NIA. Ka nyinin ka ko juma le ka yan konta lube NIA je. So if those securities at the gate had the power to detain somebody for hours, nin oyatara wo kantar lalu da bunda kantar lalu ya sembo soto pour ka mos muta ka sindi je montor wo wati jama. Later in turn will allow us access to visitors including the brother of mine. And we will bring co meter will not as some poor moly and the compabo. I do now cotto mame ya muta ye will not at a mulukono is on the main phone at a canon to compabo without us being given any official directives from top. And we are a man can sort of may a man deal and to lock water. Cabo Santon Colubulu. And I would like to conclude that it was out of the own volition of those securities to allow us visitors. I do not know what I can do. Senior for no co or security will mend the bunda cantola. You were also telling us about uh, the time Buba Jame was taken from light detention. So Buba joined us when we were in light detention. Buba I think a day or two after his arrival. Then at night, Sutola was called. Ya kumandi. Then he went for some time. Atata i watike. Precisely up to an hour or so. Atata han membe komontoro watike ling wala mensi mensi tembe ofedal. Then when he came back, Bram ruta nang. He told us that he was being interrogated. I nyum fanyang koe ba fana nyining ka kane num. And that he was tortured. And we are fanan tajire yale. By the junglers. Junglers all there are fanan tajire ya. And we, we, the evidence was on him because he removed his shirt and his body was, the, his bag was all lacerated. And we are said there are babala le katu ayala don't go bondi le ntolfong le aje. A fanan balo be faram faran dingo le nyama. La min cham the journalist. La min cham journalist o nying. Was also tortured. Yo fanan tajire ya wole nyama. I remember him walking into the reception. Nghakilo ba ka nga tamata na nkadun na ngwe jia dinkira nyin to reception. Yeah, I mean, initially when he came, we tried to talk to him to prepare him mentally. Follow, follow, bira natan lafta kadia mwa ye puru asipare nyin kama membi na akela. Especially Malik because he had that personal relationship with Malik Mbub. Sako Malik katu otumo ani Malik Mbub dia be tema. But um, he was like, um, he, I think he didn't believe like what happened to me initially. He was like, okay, do you people have tea? I want to take some tea. Uh, Munta kwa malana, ko abeko le kodrong atelu kara alika tea minjana, otum fran lafta tea minna. But before um, the reality is done on him, Bari janning abel lala kuola many along ko inata menkala. He was called out of the detention, out of the light detention center around, again around early hours of the morning, maybe around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. 
Eh, inata kumandika bondi wa mutasono ya ringo kono suto la dutala talamfula kata talan sababu chokang and he was when he woke up he was half asleep and he staggered out odumo ba kuni na tumo na kasamba abesino la no bitunga law sino tole talin talin to finde tabungo no when you told us that it was rambo that came for him ndiye ifonye jango ka me rambo wole nata akam yes rambo came for him rambo uh, came to call him Rambo le nata kama wole nata ka kumandi And uh, what is Rambo's full name? Rambo to found Momodu Jaju from Brikama. To Momodu Jaju le te andunga bota Brikama le. So um if you know the NIA premises you realize that the inner door from the from the from the reception center had some distance. Nie NIA long. Eh ila kono to bunda nyin keno le bije memba ni dinkira tema between there and the main walls that separates the, the 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 garage and the main official buildings of the NIA me along ko kenobe damento bumbala sansamba membe ko mala garaso dalaje maybe 20 25 meters abita an fo meter muang meter muang ni lulu wo kenobe jele so that was exactly where rambo and the other junglers were just by the wall wo dinkira lom rambo ni jongla dolu itarta wo sansango balaje so Lamin Cham been half asleep when he walked out. Lamin Cham amunta ya tsino tole kuninga law sino tole findita bira findita. And I think after when his eyes got adjusted to the to his surroundings. So ngame rabirina tata hanfo anya dalita dinkira nyin na aber damen to tenga nya e jeroke maybe out of fear or panic. Ngame ra kitai silangole ti wala kijate o and after see the junglers because they were all dressed in you know in in black clothes birae jongla sol je kato tembol be fem fingol le dum he just turned and ran back to the reception center a tourner to nyale ani mburo muruta nan e molu muta dinkira nyinto and that culminated to the fact that i mean underneath his feet was all peeled off and wonata me yitandi adafato koto be busitale but nonetheless he was still dragged out and tortured baro nyaw nyandi ya dia ku ya mutaka kuruntu ka fintindi kata tajiriya we didn't witness the torture with our naked eyes nya mamboy tajiriya nyin kande ya menkala masede ya nyala but again when he came back the evidence was there bari bira saitana nga sede ya ro nyin je abala jato bala hol ma ko fena ye torture that is laceration and everything else wolem ena e wol lataman sero te ni tajire e bala jato ka faram faran ne so lamin was I think um we were we were thankful to Dura Kamaso because she 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 really played a modern role to all of us out there. Yeah de nsi Dura Kamaso jayi na numbara kadra ketanye jele ko atele mum bati. She was the one who took Lamin Cham I mean all upon herself as a mother. Atele mum moti and 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 calm him down. Meya lonko atele Lamin Cham juso nyabundi ka makoy ko musona dingo ka ala kulu topoto ka ajuso tenkundi si did the same with maria madentin the current speaker of the national assembly ayo ko kilingo le ke maria madentin ye me yalon ko bitilo wala mo deputy bu la speaker ti maria ma was tortured as well ye maria ma fanan nati jele ya tajire ya do we didn't witness it physically adun ma sede ya nyala de but when he was brought in we saw her ba biriya nati ya dundin kanje nga jele i didn't know her in person then Utumo malo njumale munyinti na mandali but the other three buba Ma, malik and duta all knew her but we must have all buba malik and induta italia lonne but after some time after her arrival but what what we bring ala ala photo je birata ta what is she was brought back to where we were detained ya murundi na ndel be muto ko dame and she was visibly shaken and do nga jako abe dame a silanto le motumo very frequently hot andum otumo amunta abe baramari ne fang again it was duta kota ke duta alpha wala ya makoy ka ma down ka juso tenkundi that must have been quite an experience council ko mu kulata me ya long ko mu londi ka balt been kept uh, at one place ke muta ke sindi dula kelin and seen people consistently being tortured e binya bala mol binai be tajire yara be budela wato bela 
Can you tell us what impact that had during your time there on your psychological well-being? Um, it was tough. It cannot be overemphasized. For whatever reason, maybe they thought physical torture wasn't going to work. Or maybe they didn't want to inflict any more physical pain on us. And my feeling is that was that they wanted to do some kind of mental drive on us. And by that, they were not giving us proper food. Um, the kind of rice they bring for lunch. In order to have some kind of taste out of it. And we had to be adding some kind of jimbo to it. Um, we, we, we were not allocated breakfast. And we were only allocated, if I can't remember, 10 or 15 dollars is for, for dinner. But thankfully for us, we refused to be mentally defeated. We came together, the four of us, I mean. I mean um, Maybe before the four of us, because when we were brought to light detention, we, we, we found somebody else who was detained. In connection to a different matter, this was journalist Lamin Fati, who was with the defunct independent newspaper. So some of, I mean, all of us came together. We usually contribute on daily basis. And try to eat the best food we can afford. That was chicken. Luckily for some of us, we had our checkbooks with us. And we are able to cast some check and have some cash with us. And in order to entice the securities to help us buy food, whenever we buy anything, we buy for them as well. Because basically, they were not provided have provided any sort of dinner or so. Um, so this is how we, we've been surviving. And in between, there were other people who were brought in. The likes of Mr. Dondenjai, who was the IEC chair at the time, chairman at the time. Mr. Suleiman Boob, the then deputy to him. And Mr. Suleiman Boob, men Simba at a do Kubundala. And one Mr. Sani, I can't remember the first name, but I think he, he was one of their commissioners at the IEC, Independent Electoral Commission. But and, he and, lived in either Chakistan or Tallinn. And in Mokili, Mr. Sani, Nina Tate Tola, Fanambe do Kola, IEC, and Wotumo, but I be telling him, well, Chakistan, Wotumo. And one Madi Sise who was connected to APRC, some sort from Carnifing Estate, was also brought in. So these people were able to um, help us with the feeding because their families will bring, on, bring them enough food and, you know, we were relying on, on them for their feeding until at the point that they were released and we went back to uh, providing for ourselves. Um, 
babiri so, inata ulubula hanufu itata bitu muruta kutake mkamfan samba nunyame muruta usiloka the people from the IEC sorry my apologies yeah. the people from the IEC that were detained mwul member the IEC kartefa ibundala do you know for how long they were detained at the NIA yalo ne ila maro wito kita wadi jilde di NIA Maybe about a week or two, not more than two weeks, possibly. Because I can remember um, at some point some Kasamas rebels were arrested and brought in. There were about 20, 30 of them, I think. The place was some with visible wounds. So the place was so congested. I think, if I can remember well, it was during that time that the IEC. I mean, these people from the IEC were released, if I can remember well. Dulayanata dete, hanufa koleata, nimmanyina wotembole fomu, yenyin IEC dokula lubula. For how long did you remain in detention? Ile tarata Morocco, nofo wati jilu? In totality, four months, nine days, 129 days. Tata kanyang karina ni tilikononto, tilikeme, tilimuang aninkononto. And during that four months, nine days, were you ever taken to court? I have never been cautioned, never been charged, and never been taken to court. I have never been taken to court. I have never been taken to court. I have never been taken to court. Except that um, I think the second or third day of our detention, when we were in cells, we were taken out for some kind of photography. Ngamira na mutoti li sabanja ngokono Iye mfinti ndi ngamira Iye mfinti ndi njina kama puru kata Kananata alo duta Fingerprinting Anenka mbulu kumba Tamka mbulu kumbulu kondi ntampo luta It was done in the office of one Tijan Saj Yoke office ome mkono ngamira Ika fama rio yene Tijan Saj Besides that nothing else Na manke wote kudo manke je can you tell us what led to your release from the NIA? I mentioned earlier that these panelists approached us and told us that we were not guilty of anything and that they've recommended for us to be released in their report. Ah, ngalaku ji bila ngakis kisi barin tata tara ko atelu mang kuke andu ngani ya maro di lepuri salibula. It was at that juncture the four of us, myself again, Buba, Jame, Duda Kamaso and Malik decided that we needed to take an action. But umo lontel mo na no nte Duda Kamaso Malik anim Buba Jame ko nyanta kuke lale. We deliberated on it. Ngakuwa kacha nda mangu tema. And concluded that we needed to take legal action. But that doesn't include Buba because Buba said he was an active military officer and according to the terms and conditions of services, he couldn't go to court with the government. But the government said that he was an active military officer and according to the And we advised each other and decided that instead of taking it jointly, I mean legal action jointly, let's take it individually. Tunatani yama rodi nyola kwa nama na deng puruka yinkota ka samba lua la karola watu mbe wuli ngalua ta mfaye nkilin kilin nalo. That was when I contacted Boriture, lawyer Boriture. Watembo le mdi ya muta lawyer Boriture. Um, the way I contacted him. Nga 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 nala kufuta tanyo manyaming. Prior to that, about two two months or so, maybe three months prior to that. Um, I instructed my brother, the one I was living with in Farafenye. By a telephone for me. That is that Nokia 1200 telephone for me. He smuggled the phone and gave it to me. A telephone kuloto dundi na hanufa duntambulo kono. None of my coordinates, detainees knew that I had a phone. So this was how I was communicating with my family and other important people to me. Yes, um, immediately after every call, I will just 
dismantle the horn phone, take out the outer cover, place it there. I mean, the battery out there, the SIM card somewhere else, because we were free to roam within the campus of the NIA. Ningambandi commandiro la drong nka telefono ni njanjane. Ala kubero nsi olandi dulato nga simo ke dulato nga battery ofana landi dulato. This was the phone I used to call Dr. I mean, lawyer Boritura with. Ateo telephone killing on a lawyer Boritura commandi walela. And I explained my ordeal to Bori. By the way, he was my geography teacher during my first year at high school. Adum bekaram bumba to tumo na high school. Atela kang karandi geography la mengeta dunia dinkira lula nyati. He asked me to send a family member of mine to go and see him. Ako nsi na badin kilinjube nsi mengkia kang. And that um his consultation fee was one thousand five hundred. Amunta bitung ala dundiri jo momenti puruka na kuoluta dalas wuli kilin dalas keme lulu. Which I needed to pay. Nyanta wale jola. Then I sent my younger brother Dembo Bojang. Ndo ma Dembo Bojang ngoki. Who took the money to bury? Me yekolo ni nsamba bury. Then there and then bury took up the case with the High Court. Watembo lem bury ni nkuota na kiti bunda ba la High Court. This was. I mean, the case was mentioned at High Court on Monday, to 25th of September, 2006. Then, September, Karoo, till morning, Lulu, 2006, yenyin kito for ulunne kiti bundala. Then, by Friday, the 29th. Arjumalungo Karoo, till morning, kolonto. I mean, the, I think I can't remember the judge's name, but I think it's something like Justice Monaghan. I can't remember. I mean, it's a Nigerian lady. Nigeria, Jojo Ben Bijang from Monaghan, Lombang, Mang Hakilo Mato Mutano, Wolungwo. Who ordered for my release? Me in Kamudi ko inyanta mbulalale. So I got the information prior. Bari wa yata nga kumo soto jani wa obekela. Because I was keen and curious. Kato nyim nga muta sobe yale kama aning aketanyo kumpabo kumpoti. Then I used the same strategy to call my brother who was at the Kaya Kaya Kota at the time. Watumu wale mnata mbadi ma kumandi me yalo nko watumu atebe high court le duwa kuwala. Then my family was already on the ground if in case they, they, they wanted to release me so that they can grant me bill. Watumu nabadi ngulube wulta ipareta ko. Nimisali kama ilafta puru kambil, itolbe pareri no nungotu mo inyanta o menkela. I have with me um, exhibit 63C. Ansuru kaya ko, felambulu jang, sedi harini romi alonko ya dundi diyamu kono nemu 63C. That's the point newspaper dated October 12, 2006. Wale mu October 12, 2006. Kibar kaya romi asafi wale mu point newspaper di. And what? On page three of the article, which is titled Malik Mbub Dutakama, so released. released. On the last paragraph, it stated that you were released uh, on the basis of a habeas corpus that was filed. And then I please tell me what that means in English. <laughs> that is an application for the NI the state to produce you dead or alive. So That's it was insane. that serious? Yes, in plain English. So that I was, was in days of basically. Well, it was an application filed by your council for your release <laughs> from, <laughs> from the <laughs> state's uh, <laughs> detention. And you were released eventually? Yes, so um, I was released eventually. Uh, in Atambula. This was on a Friday. <laughs> the Juma prayers. And ask to report at the NIA on Monday, the second of October. In other words, when and Danko NIA ten long October carotili fullo. For how long were you reporting at the NIA after your release? In ye bula, itar taka katefa itandi je walem kara report ya wati jelsi katefa itandi. I've been shuttling between Farafenye and Banjul to report at the NIA for about two, three months. Atata la fuk kari saba, kari fulla kari saba. Mbetani nala farafanya ni mbanjuli tayari mapurukana ndangu hito la. But I reached a conclusion that it was useless because I'll just go and be kept there for hours and asked to go and come another week or after after another two weeks. 
bari bringa tata anfu afuta tawo temboto na ta muta ko na fata nyinna ka do ni ndaraje ngasile kasije hanufo ni etlo bina boyla safo nyeta isina muruna nyi lunko ten yo adum biria ka tawo nyanna na ta je ko na fata nyinna if you knew the south bank route at the time wo tembo na tara yenyi silo lo ka fome south bank ko lem silo men ya lonko wala ka bo bara ka ta farafenye barato farafenye would take you not less than 5 hours alun ka bo bara wo tembo ka ta farafenye ni ko ba abor la moto la abu kam manke montoro wati lulo la i got fed up and stopped coming bitum na ta ka kuti meyi sisifa yenju so fa nganda pour kana i think i'm still on bail and nga mera hanim bi mbe o bel le kan that is it well, you were never released from the bail bond i don't think so the bail running sarto le men fonza o bail bail running sarto le ngol me bulan zai no ani can you briefly tell us uh, about the impact of your detention silang nyin ko muto muto nyin be ko la fo isa fo no nyi ko nyin ko le ay mune sa buima am it was it was the impact was very bad on me am i men sababu ma akata ku jaw batin de kan i think it's, it was even worse on my family and nga mera ko le atan na badi ngol nadi mbaya le fango kan ka tambi wala so it reached a stage i thought it i mean it was affecting them more than it was with me what is it on nga mera ay tele fango batan di ka tambi nda fango ko ngola because um i i ended up building thick skin against it ka to tatale han fo labango nte labango mbambanta ko nyi kono be in the first son of my dad why didn't tell mum fama din ke floti my brothers were almost all going to school ndo lo tu mo lube bita kan karam bungo to i was the only person supporting him nte drone ne kama ko rodi mum fama la wotu mo thankfully bari ala tento kan salary never stopped e man nakari jo kuntu did not lose my job at mrc and mum fon na jola mrc na do ko la mrc my salary still goes partly to support my family na jo fankil mu be katan baadi ngol len na dimbal le topoto kan but not as much as i had wanted bari abu ka ke nyama ko lefta la nyaming i was i got myself in a situation where katun tatam fa nge ku ko no dame yalon ko i had to spend more than i needed nka de panso menke aka tambiri ko la len sula ta menna because of my conditions in detention i had to eat good katu mbe muto ko no nyame fo nga fenkendo domo and the nwa we are in providing that for us adun nwa ewlu mantara o mako e kan kawdinna secondly flanjang um, on a lighter note eh pour ka kolu sono yandi it impacted on my um my 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 career development because i had already started reading eh andu anata ku sababu kan nasindi nado ko fana yiri wando la karola katu tembo ngan na karango londi la faada muta had an opportunity to pursue a cause that i started but eventually it couldn't go ahead because of that ngani silo soto puruka karango do no masata londo la karola bari mbukan manna tenten no wala but i made up i made up of for that when i came to i was transferred to fajara in 2007 bari nata wo no masata le brien sawu ndina fajara 2007 sankono this happened at a time nyin keta wato le when my dad was in prison bring mfaf be kasola no been wholly more or less wholly and sorry reliant on me to for the family upkeep and no to mo ntele moti ni lonkunto duno lata ntele kan pour ka dimbaya lu samba affected me a lot we abatan di baki ate fanang um because i used to go and see him on monthly basis to mo kari wo kar long kata te je didn't see me for about two months man je fo kari fula and he demanded answers ay ni ni ka roke mune be kering we didn't want him to know man la fi nu ate ya lo membe kering but eventually bare kolu na tata we had to tell him he have, had to be told fo ya fa e drong am um, that affected him ah we ya batandi in fact by the time he came out wato me abe finti la nang became hypertensive utum mo yele sia ya muta and i would not say it was that was the main cause but it contributed to it cha nta fo no la ko wolem dali loti de meyo ni sia ma barbitung eh asake wo fanang mu kafundanti my family na dimbayalu they are scared to come and see me ika sila pour kanante je because of what happened to my brother the first day my elder brother that i mentioned who came to see me the first day katu nkoto ma menna tan na ko no ma lum folo nyin na yow muto men ke wala wole na dimbayalu sila ndi pour kanan jube so it was like they wanted to but they couldn't bitu nga bele ko drong ika lafi pour kanan na ko jibe bari man anoy man hay 
So this was the kind of impact it had on me. I didn't lose my job. It didn't impact me in terms of salary. And like I, my salary had been paid for four months, nine days that I've been in detention without working. Amunda, so I'm grateful for that. Memo ma ala la manta bengoti mamfon na do ko la na jo beta makango to mbe ala tentu la wakama karina ni tilikono nto mbe omuto kono. What was it? Walem. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Boja. Inimbara baake, Mr. Thank Boja. Thank you for answering all of my questions. Inimbara fana yenda ni ningarol bi ejabi nyame. That will be all from me. Ngani ne sotoe? Mr. Chairman, the witness is yours now. Um, with respect to the PIS of the witness, okay. I'll give you the exhibit number later. That's the signed uh, copy of the witness on the name that was me mentioned, that he could not mention, sorry. Thank you very much, um, uh, uh, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Bojan, for coming to testify. Chairman, ko anong ay council jay ay ito fano numbara Mr. Bojang puri ison takana si de arola. Sorry, you had to endure so much in the hands of um, uh, agents of the state for absolutely no reason. Si haketo yaman tora ba taki bangko fano la duku la lubulu andunga manna ke dalila wo dalila kante. And the burden imposed on your family was just um, uh, not justified at all. Andu ye duno mel lela dimba ya lukang. Amanda Lila Soto, Amantara Luring Tonya Fanankang. Commissioners, if you have any questions to ask, please indicate. Ning Commissioner Lee Ning Kasi. Commissioner Kindle of Tenin in Kala. Um, Lambojang Abaraka Baki. A Kuinum Barabaki Lamin Bojang. Thank you very much, Lamin. Um, Betin Tulaila Wakilikana Jang Kase de Aroke. My thanks to you for agreeing to come and testify here. And we thank you also for your resilience during your detention. And secondly, we would like to show our displeasure and uh, unhappiness for the trouble it brought to your family and your and your father. Um, Bao it be light detention wato menna ika tara taman taman na enaegla dulato. During your time in the in in light detention, you had the chance to have to be walking around in the NIA premises. Mbela fele yem ma ko ifo dulabe je men to ku yata ba ke ka fu dame ye bamba dinka fo isi je ta fu nyeno ala ala mandala ka be nyamen ala Kenya be nyamen no. There was a notorious no. place in the NIA called Bambadinka. If you have any knowledge of that place, uh, please, we would like you to give us or to, uh, to, to, to explain that place to us uh, or describe. Uh, First of all, where this uh, place was situated within the NIA premises. And if you know anything about the interior of that Bambadinka and its surrounding, that's what I wanted to ask you to help us if you have any idea about the place. Um, do I respond in Manika or in English? Well, <laughs> that's left to okay. you. Okay, okay. I'm going to talk to you about Yes. I'm going to talk to you about Thank you very much, Mr. Kinte. I'm going to talk to you about The place I knew as Bambadinka. You don't have NIA. How do you feel about it? If you go into the NIA compound, I'm going to talk to you about light detention. During my time under light detention, I had the chance to be walking around. If you enter through the main door where the vehicles come into the uh, compound, you see a cement block fence. There is a small door somewhere where behind that small door there is a story building situated there. But what cement is Marala? But near that uh, uh, fence, the cement fence fence there on the left hand side there is another small story building there 
in front of that small building towards the gate of the compound jonkon le biye there is uh, there is a toilet that's where we used to visit that toilet ni tambitala if you pass that toilet fence la koma la behind the fence there um sele sele don bolto mol ka sele min kata bu nyaw nyinka o bu nyang kilo mem marala je there is a staircase where people used to climb to go into that uh, story building office on le biye there are offices situated up there so akam da ko ni dun da fence la bu ndare wala ngam info if you enter through that small door just by the fence the one i mentioned hansai imalakara bunjande wonyinka still the small story building is on your left hand side ni ko fote marale ka bunjaw nyina perango soto ale jimbo if you turn on your left you go under the veranda of that story building dan ni lota jimbo to ye nya tilim bungala la marala karola if you stand and face the story building on the left hand side bunda do bi je there is another door there bar nyim bunda e fanka jeme kal nako bunda ni ya mara e bunda minki ya bunda kuliata bakele but yeah, if you observe the door properly you will realize that that door is a very strong door ay huri ngol soto it has small holes me an ko say ni ilo jam fata dama ni control sifal isen no no le konoto yo fi if you are somebody as tall as i am you can just stand and peep inside bari nena mon kono do geno kon lafta jala nyami but i've never been able to see the interior as i wanted to wala jinti ko because ke katu debere na more or less because that place is always dark at all times so wod lalon ding bamba dingati that's the place they call bamba ding am a bongo ning the 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 place itself kamun tokko ning perango la um i mean jimbo ni na perango danta janato bongo ninga te jita duma le dama ding It looks like where the veranda ended of that building that's where it's situated but it looks like an underground uh, room adinka molon ha just like a hole so built there dafa jele bamba dinka that's the place they call bamba dinka wala lom bamba dinka that's what i know as bamba dinka but ndol fa nang comme ko kumpa balente ya kam but as for us also because of um, our curiosity nara kanyinen karo ke comme dam mal after that stick to comme dege dege la do kula do bi ndi ka kacha bakala we also just because of after spending some time there we became acquainted with some of the workers and some of the operatives living there pour que jela tariko and we used to ask them pour que jela tariko lo so that we will know the history of the place so nara min soto ko no what we came to uh, uh, get out of that history wolam nyindi ko ba wodula jipi embile benu nje ni mam mystique because if i am not mistaken that place was the former premises of the gpmb e ko ila sefo ila ranke sol e ke mabo no wodula la to as we were told that place was the place where they used to keep their safes budum fo wodula benu wala nyama kamere ka ranke sol mabo je fabi dinkari no wala nyama fo aftale nara la fa wo man koyna whether it was like that during the time of the gpmb or it was later uh, 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 d- d- created by the nia that's not clear to me and adula ko no mam fanu and it's not wide the place lalo miyanko ani beyango may nataraje it's a place where even you don't have to keep an animal there so nga wala lom bamba dinkato that's the place i know as bamba dink nena man dunje nak i've never been able to enter the place nga wala lom je that's what i know about the place baraka baake lamin Abaraka. Thank you very much Lamin. Thank you. There are no further questions um, uh, Mr. Bojang if you have final remarks to make please proceed to Mr. Bojang why re ñi ni kar do tije bi tu tefa nam bela kacha kum fala kuma kan lu mennu la e ci tente ñe wulu fo. Um I would like to thank the commission in the first place. A ka be commission o jay la folo 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 for according us this opportunity. Pour ye ñi silo men dia la kana jang ka diam. Um, as i mentioned earlier ko nga fu nu ñame commando am part of i am part of the people ndebe mol le ko no men ya lon ko who never believed men nu ne ma la nu ko who vehemently argued against men ya lon ko ka so soro bamba ndingo ke the fact that ka foko this kind of i mean torture or activities ka foko ñi ñun tajiri ya façon wala ñi ku jaw façon lu we have been meted on gambians nka so so ka foko e kawke gambia dingulula by both our security and civil personnel ko ka foko na kanto ni tankada bunda ni do ku lalu men ya lonko civiliano le moyti ka fo e kaw ku fason ke mo la malala nu until i had to go undergo this unfortunate i mean experience hanu fon te fawo nata dum ku kono me ya lonko aketanye nyaayelen di koti birim fangu dunta kono 
So by coming to the commission, for some of us who are victims, to narrate our ordeal, just for us to learn from, is an opportunity that I highly cherished. Because, without coming and telling the truth, things will just be in the room of vine. Will be open to speculations. And people would tend to believe or not to believe based on their own personal indulgences. But coming to the coming here would give every level headed person a food for thought. Because Kato, why would I come here? I mean, what do I need from the commission in order to come here and lie? What would I need from the government? I never work with the government directly. In fact, the work I'm doing for the government, I'm doing it for free. As the head of the Gambia National Cancer Registry. This does not fall within my purview as a senior data manager at MRC. But it's an, it's an area where I've been trained on, I've taken up the responsibility in order to help the Ministry of Health to collect cancer data and present wherever they need to. But the Kiralo Ndame Yalon Konga Karanga Londo Soto. So, so, so I don't come to the commission for any personal gains. That notwithstanding, in as much as we tell the truth in the commission, people will still be in denial. And I would like to appeal to everyone. For us, Pruntelu, not to Prunin Kamalankana be in denial, Nkanason Kakanso Roke, based on assumptions. Kafoko, Iman Kumen Kalangolo, Yamuela, Metendro Yaso. If we are to deny anything, Nibe Kokundin so sola, let us deny based on facts. Nibe so so roke la Aketonia, Coyote, Mendunte from Bulocono. If we inculcate that attitude in us as people as young people as the future leaders of this country will have a complete change of mindset and did this also that brings me to the next level that we the youngsters of this country should be ready to take up responsibilities but not only taking responsibility but taking up ownership to make things better I know that if I have my car and don't do not get do have do delegates in the way I drive it. Every breakdown that happens to it would be made out of my pocket. So if I'm given a government vehicle, why can't I hold it in that manner hmm? as my own? That is just an example of taking ownership. The next thing is our security sector. I believe our security forces should be made a force of choice to join but not a force of last resort to join. Because that is, I believe, part of the reasons why we have some bad personnel within our security forces. 
because security personnel Kadu kanta bunda do kulalu have access to guns ulu kido betelle bulu have access to power sembo betelle la karola so if those people in there are not level headed wo molu no menu be karola jorangulu be bulu manke moluti menu hakilo warata the few who are bad elements dan tangulu menu be kono menu mu kurunguluti will eventually tend the rest ha bitu wotu mo wolle fanalu bina wo wo lodu la jawta la and this is what is happening adu ngule be kekan I bear witness that. Ninketa nye sede kutiko. I've seen people. Ngamolu jele. I'm not here to judge anybody. Mantara jang puruka mo kitindi. I may be wrong again. Asikeno mfili tele koteke. But I would like to believe that. Bari mbela fala kalanyi nako. If somebody is to serve in the NIA. Momundi nanyanta doko kela NIA. We are talking about national intelligence agency. Mbedia mukambunda mengna kuala wole mbankola kibar brikulo kibar tamandi bunda. These are people who are supposed to be seasoned intelligence officers. Nilumu mo leti men ya lonko iketam mo lona leti men ya lonko hakilo e fateo fa ila londo fanan kono fanu ta wonya. In terms of technical and intellectual knowledge. Ka membe kala londo do ko samba nyaati ani tel fanu la kono to londo men kono fanu ta. I've seen people. Nga mo luje in the NIA. NIA as operatives. Men be do ko la je who failed the common entrance exams on four occasions. Men ya lonko e londi konti bo ta e ka fo common entrance sinya nan ika boy bu ka gagne no who couldn't speak proper english menu fongul yalon ko bu ka angale kan fongul senior ngo fono i've asked counsel here nga counsel nyin ka jang to speak to me and to speak to me in english about something she mentioned in the language of law pura i fem fonya jang i mem fo lua la carola pura yo senior ndinye how would we expect somebody who can speak good english say mo mem fong bu ka angale kan kendo fong fono si jiki wala nyaadi le doesn't understand good english amang angale kan sahari ngo faham to interpret the language of law pour o sina loi la kan kan na sori in executing his or her or her duties as an official of the nation pour kala do ko ta mande kata be do ko la banko le people who can write statements men ya lon ko bu ka kuma kan sa feno it is sad aketa bala fati i think ngamira we need to take a proper look at our nyantam fangulu jube la kendeke and make the security sector nganna kanta bunda ke bundati a sector of choice na ke dinkirati dama ya lonko asidia meye wala si dunje and not a sector of last resort ra kana ke dinkirati dama ya lonko mo kori lingulu men nu korta wala be kadu wala kadunje i thank you all in order not to prolong the session i have a lot to say but i'll stop there ngali numbara ngali jayi e ni lodu la kam mallafika ko mo jam fandi ka tambi janna ala baraka al nimbara thank you all ala baraka thank you very much indeed um, uh, mr bojang for those excellent um, uh, concluding remarks nimbara bakke mr bojang yela ko mo ko fa ko makan lu men la ko makan kende balle mo and uh, thank you again um, for coming to testify before the commission nimbara kota ke pour sonta kana cede yaro la commission to jang we'll now take a lunch break and come back at uh, 2:45 mbita konton da hala nse murunang 